330 megahertz to 300 megahertz, 10 meters to 1 meter. VHF, very high frequencies. Okay, by today's stand, by today's standards, those are not very high frequencies. But when the table was uh, created, those were really high, very high frequencies at the time. Okay, um, at that frequency, in that frequency band, uh, the ground wave does not exist, because the surface wave does not, does not exist anymore, because it is too attenuated. The ionospheric wave does not exist anymore because above 30 megahertz, what happens is that you make a hole in the ionosphere and that's what you do not bounce back. Mm -hmm. So the only propagation mode for those frequencies and above is again ground, ground wave but this time is only direct yeah. and reflective waves. If it does exist. It means that from this, roughly, from this frequency above, you only, you can only communicate with kind of line of sight communication. It's not completely true, but the dominant mode is direct sight, di uh, line of sight, or, or anyway, there must be a direct con a, a, a kind of direct connection between the two points. So short distance communication, depending on, on, on the third point. Oh, and uh, this, uh, So kind of local communications. Oh, this this is good because if you are limited to local communications, you don't care about other users that are very far. <coughs> like you have to do in those cases where you can receive signals and interference from users that are very far. Away. <coughs> so you don't need. You need a coordination, but not that much. And uh, you can really uh, reuse the frequency after a distance. Moreover, you start having more bandwidth. So you can use uh, higher bitrate services because you have more men at your disposal. And the size of the antenna starts to become manageable. Uh, in this band, for example, there is the commercial FM, 88 to 108 megahertz. There are uh, utilities like uh, police radio, firefighters, uh, ambulance, whatever you need. Uh, aeronautical services. There is room for everybody. <coughs> now we go up on frequency. Now there is some. <coughs> This is usually called UHF, ultra high frequencies. So we are running out of uh, adjectives. Ultra high frequencies. <coughs> Again, only ground wave. 
direct and reflective way. Uh, actually, there is a little bit of uh, overlap of definitions because above one gigahertz, uh, <coughs> frequencies above one gigahertz are also called microwave bands. So it's uh, the definitions of bands starts to become a little bit confused. But just for your reference, mm -hmm. since you will find them in your working career, 152 gigahertz is the so-called L-band. Here you find the GPS, GPS system for example, 1.8 something. You find here also the uh, UMTS. <coughs> 2 to 4 gigahertz is the S-band. Radars, Wi-Fi, military, microwave links, something like that. <coughs> this is the C band. Four to eight gigahertz is the so-called C band. Again, satellites, uh, microwave links, this kind of things. Radars. Eight twelve gigahertz expand and eventually the range twelve to forty gigahertz are the so called K bands, that is the KU, K and K bands. Now, uh, if we go, if we keep going with this definition, so this is a parallel definition of the band. If we keep, if we keep going with this definition, we find 3 gigahertz to 30 gigahertz wavelength between 10 and 1 centimeter. Those are the SHF, super high frequencies. Mm -hmm. And eventually, <coughs> 30 gigahertz to 300 gigahertz. 10 to 1 millimeter wavelength, yeah, extra time. high frequency. I will tell you now some <coughs> possible applications. Uh, where, where are we now in the use of the spectrum? Okay, uh, the spectrum is, has been heavily used today up to 12 gigahertz. There are a lot of users, there is no space, almost no space, up to 12 gigahertz. There are applications that are start to be uh, uh, common at 20 gigahertz, for example, 30, 38, especially for short distance microwave high capacity short distance microwave The problem with high frequencies, I, I will just be introduced but we will not discuss them is that above 10 gigahertz, when you go up 8 10 gigahertz, you start experiencing a very strong attenuation with the rate. So if you, if you are in a rainy area, your link will suffer for serious degradation every time it rains. We're talking a very strong attenuation. In tropical regions, it's if you live in the desert, it's okay. And the situation gets worse with increasing frequencies. 
So your link or your, your radio link must be short. In Europe, we are starting to use, we, do, we regularly use 20 gigahertz for satellite communications. <coughs> we are now experimenting 40 and 50 gigahertz for satellite communication. Uh, still, we have to think about some kind of measure when it rains. Because when it rains, no way. There are too much attenuation, you cannot come back. Uh, the, the trend uh, for short range devices now is around 60 gigahertz. You will see in the next future a lot of application at 60 gigahertz for very short range <coughs> distance for cable replacement mainly. Uh, we're talking 10 of, uh, of links up to 10 meters distance. So maybe, for example, to cover this room. Uh, kind of a Wi-Fi, but with a capacity of say 10 gigabyte per second or more. Um, this is called ultra wideband uh, ultra wideband system. Uh, the, the good news about this frequency is that you have a very strong attenuation due to oxygen. <coughs> so the the distance that, that this signal can travel is very short. Tens of meters. This is good because you don't want to have interference from other systems. We know that to nowadays the Wi-Fi systems have a very high, very high level of interference. And the uh, level of interference here will be much lower. Uh, what will we talk about in this course? In this course we will talk about mainly of VHF and UHF. Because of uh, the are the frequency bands that are most suitable for mobile and wireless communication. Up to, say, two years ago, one year ago, uh, there was the belief that those frequencies above, uh, say, few gigahertz were useless for mobile communication. Were okay for point to point, but were useless for mobile communication. This is not true anymore. There is a strong interest now for millimeter wave for mobile systems because you want to have a very high capacity and there is not enough room. If someone of your interest if is interested, there is a nice paper, a nice paper that discusses this. I can give it to you. <coughs> okay, we we'll stop here. Questions first. Okay, um, I can give you a, a copy of the book. If someone of you has uh, a key, uh, 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 a memory, memory pen, I can transfer and then you can uh, share it. <laughs>
Realísimo. Me cae, me cae ver a un perdido. Pero me siento lo. ¿Por qué ves esos perdidos? Yo no veo nada. 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 Yo no veo n